want your thoughts on what's happening with UST and Terra Luna. <laughs> Can I ask that? I just yeah, did. it's so easy. <laughs> well, I mean, so, God, how much of this should I say? Give me, give me if a three you, minute rant. Okay, if if you have a stable coin and you attempt to back that stable coin with stuff and you have the option of more valuable stuff or less valuable stuff, more valuable stuff is better. And so what he did, his centralized decision-making, single guy decision, apparently, I don't know. He, uh, he decided that he would FOMO the top against my advice, by the way, I told everyone it was a top a year ago. I was right. Everyone else was wrong. My top call has been in profit every single day for over like a year and a month now, except for one day where it made a fake out. And then will you be my paid again. grip leader? No, but you can just copy my stuff for free if you want. So like it, you know, so he buys the top, just like Michael Saylor bought the top, just like the NFT guys bought the top. They don't understand that these are market cycles and I believe in the 85% dip. It happens. And I've been through many of them and people just don't think they're possible. New paradigm. You're like, yeah, new paradigm wrong. You guys, the noobs bought the top and who's going to buy after you. So, you know, he takes his stable coins that he had and swaps them for Bitcoin. And then his uh, peg gets attacked by a bunch of people selling the UST for other stuff. And then he has to defend the peg. So he bought it like 48 and sold it like 36. And so now he just has less reserves left. And so you can't, you cannot make the backing of a stable coin stronger by getting wrecked trading. It doesn't make sense. Okay. And, and, it, and it's very like, <laughs> Hey guys, the world's richest guy in the world just bought. It's even legal in some countries. We're early. No, no, you're not early. You're late. You guys are the last to buy. Mm -hmm.